Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to go into the pros and cons of living in Salem. I get a lot of people in my life, whether it be people I know personally or people I meet just visiting Salem when I'm walking around, asking what are the best parts of living in Salem, what it's like living in Salem. So I wanted to detail a little bit about what I consider to be the best parts of living here and then maybe some things that aren't the best. As always, this is my personal experience living here, so your experience might be completely different. Things that I put on my pros list might be part of your cons, so just keep in mind that this is my personal experience and this is based off of living in downtown Salem. Salem's kind of big, it does go, I mean it's not huge, but it does go farther beyond just like Essex Street and Derby Street, which is kind of the central part of downtown Salem. So this is my experience based off living right in the center of the city, especially when it comes to Halloween season. I'm going to start with the pros because I personally always like hearing about the good things first. So of course, it's Salem. Like Halloween is the best here. I haven't experienced it many other places in the world. Like people say New Orleans, it's great. And I'm sure other places are amazing too, but there's nothing quite like Halloween in Salem for me. It's such a great time. Literally, it is a massive party. I'll try to insert some clips from this past Halloween, but literally it is packed on the streets with people from all over the place. Everybody's dressed up. There's people performing, there's things going on. Um, there's stuff to do, whether it be at a location. So if you're going to a bar, bars are packed. There's drink specials. It's a really great time. In Salem Commons, there's usually free music to listen to. There's also vendors. And sometimes, at least this past year, there was a carnival that was in the commons so there's so much to do on halloween and living here and just being local makes it so much easier to take advantage of everything that the town has to offer i just realized i said city of salem before and then i just said town i'm pretty sure salem is considered a city i don't know it feels like a small town sometimes especially in the off season so city town whatever we're in salem Another major pro that I've experienced living in Salem is the accessibility to everything here. So there's a lot right here in Salem. Like there's a CVS, there's shops, there's restaurants, and living downtown, it's really nice being able to just walk out of my apartment and walk wherever I need to be. I really don't need my car to get around places downtown. On a number of occasions when Kevin and I are cooking and we like forget an ingredient, I can literally just walk right to CVS because it's right on Essex Street. So it's really convenient living downtown because I could basically walk to a bunch of places, including our favorite restaurants. Which brings me to my next pro is the really amazing restaurants. I did do an entire video of things to do in Salem and I mentioned restaurants, some of my favorite restaurants here. I will link that down below and in the eye if you're interested in checking that out. Um, but yeah, the restaurants here are amazing. There are places, I remember before we really moved up here, we weren't able to get into certain restaurants because if you come during Halloween season, it can just be so busy and a lot of places won't accept reservations. It's kind of like a first come first serve basis. I know for Howling Wolf, it's like that. You cannot make a reservation. It's just first come first serve. So we were never able to get into Howling Wolf when we were tourists. But now that I live here, we can literally go whenever because in the off season, I get to take advantage of these awesome restaurants that are usually just so crowded and busy. That's another really good part of living in Salem is that you really get to take advantage of everything the city has to offer. When you're a tourist, you kind of have to pick and choose things you want to do you have to pick what's at the top of your list. So when you live here, you literally can do whatever you want, whenever you want. If you really want to go to a particular museum that you never got a chance to go to on a random Saturday night, you can just go check it out. So it's really nice to have this accessibility, things that people might wait a really long time for during the month of October, but we get to do it in the off season and not have to deal with the lines or the craziness of coming during the peak season. Salem residents also get free entry into the Peabody Essex Museum. So you can literally just one day, if you want to have something to do, I can just go over to the Peabody Essex Museum. It's good if I don't want to just sit in my house and do nothing, but I also don't want to pay to do something. We could just go to the museum. And I wouldn't be talking about Salem if I didn't talk about the benefit of living in Salem if you are somebody who practices or if you have a specific like pagan based religion that requires you to have different tools that would be at the shops in Salem. So there are a lot of different metaphysical shops. Um, I've talked about them again in my things to do in Salem video for different witchcraft tools. It's really amazing to have so many shops here if that's something that you personally do. 
just being able to go and get them and have accessibilities to shops like this is awesome because I know a lot of people complain that places where they live, they aren't able to get tools and buying off of Amazon is not everybody's favorite. So being able to go and support a small business here in Salem is always really nice. And there's so many to choose from. You'll never not have supplies for whatever you particularly practice. Another pro of living in Salem, aside from things that you can do, is the location of it. I think it's a really beautiful city. Like we do have a seaport, I guess, if you go, if you've ever walked down to Derby Street and you've seen the water and the friendship. It's really beautiful down here. It's like a little kind of beachy town. Um, not like a beach town. I wouldn't say people come here to go to the beach, but it's really pretty with the water. Also, it's a great location for other things in the area. So a place that's very beachy and known for it. I would say the closest one is like Gloucester. We're only about 30 minutes outside of Gloucester. So it's really easy to be able to just drive up and go to the beach or even Maine. My boyfriend and I went to Maine over the summer and went to go to the beaches. So really close to Maine and going places like Gloucester specifically for going to the beach. And then also going south, we're only 30 minutes outside of Boston. So it makes it really easy to go to different concert venues. If you wanna have a night out in the city going to like a club or something, Salem's not really a club scene, but if you're somebody who wants to like go out to a club and dance, we're only 30 minutes outside of Boston. So it's really easy just to hop on the highway and head down. I've done that a number of times for like anniversary dinners or we went to see Rez play at a nightclub in Boston. So it's really easy to just head into the city and experience that side of living in Massachusetts and then come back and escape to Salem and not have to stay in Boston. <laughs> and another really amazing pro about Salem is that it's extremely LGBTQ plus friendly. All around, it's a very accepting community. There's a lot of different people that live here. I'm sure you can imagine being somewhere where people are pagan, people are Wiccan, just there's a lot of diverse spiritualities who all live here. There's just so many different types of people who come and live in Salem. So and I think it kind of goes hand in hand with just being generally accepting of people, their beliefs, um, how they like to live their life. Everybody is really chill here and you don't ever run into people who are judgmental, not that I found at least. Everybody is super accepting, super chill, um, at least that I found. And in particular, I would say Salem is a really pretty safe place to live and you're going to be around people who are not only supportive of you, but a lot of people who are also in that community. Um, I think Salem could be really nice for that as well. I think that's it for the pros of living in Salem. Overall, I think it's a really great place to live that has a lot to do during the Halloween season. Um, especially if you're living downtown, you're gonna be very close to all the action and you're gonna have easy access to things um, year round. So even if you can't get into something during the Halloween season because there's so many people here visiting, you have the benefit of being able to go at any time during the year and take advantage of it because you're here. That is what I would say for pros. Now on to the cons of living in Salem because there definitely are, there's pros and cons of living anywhere. And if you're considering moving here, it might be nice to hear somebody's experience from living here. This brings me to my first con. And this was something I wasn't really surprised about because I have come to Salem in the off season before I moved up here. So I pretty much knew the vibe of it, I guess, but um, it is not like it is during Halloween year round at all. So if you're thinking it's going to be this amazing Halloween party year round, and there's always going to be like big Halloween themed events, that's not the case. There really is not much to do like for Halloween or like Halloween themed year round. People assume that this is like the Halloween capital and there's always stuff Halloween related, but no, I mean, it just turns into any other town. Halloween is a big holiday here. It's our biggest holiday here, but it doesn't stay that way. Things don't really stay decorated for Halloween. It just goes back into being a normal town and it's really quiet in the off season. There's not like pumpkins or Halloween-esque decorations that stay up. Even like if you have come during the Halloween season since the filming of Hubie Halloween, you would know that during October, they have the orange string lights in the Salem Commons that they leave on every single night. It just gives you all like those amazing fall feelings. Literally is like this, but like orange lights in the trees. Um, but yeah, they don't even leave those on during the off season. It is really, really quiet here. Turns into basically a ghost town during the off season, which can be, like a little sad because it's not like this big Halloween capital of the world that's busy all the time. It's really not. It's pretty dead in the off season. So if you're expecting this fun Halloween party year round, 
it's not really gonna be like that. It is really, really quiet on the off season. Places like Village Tavern stay pretty consistently busy throughout the year just because it's a really popular college bar for Salem State, but it's not like Halloween spooky. If you think that that's what it's gonna be, it's not at all. It's only really like that during Halloween season. That might be a very big pro for you. Honestly, I don't think I could deal with it if it was year round. That'd be a little bit too much for me. My biggest con of living in Salem is probably how expensive it is. I had no idea living in Salem would be this much. I'm not gonna get into specifics about how much I personally pay for our apartment, but it is really, really expensive. And a lot of people I know don't move to downtown Salem. They'll move to outskirt towns or different like outskirts of Salem and just not downtown because of how expensive it is. Not only is it expensive, but it's really difficult to find an available apartment to have. It was tough for us to find this place. There was a bunch of different options we were looking at, but a lot of them were on the outskirts. So about a 10 to 15 minute drive into downtown, which at that point, it's like you're not even living in Salem because you can't walk to where you're trying to go. So we really wanted to be downtown to have that foot availability to just walk wherever we want. But if you're looking for that, it's really hard to find available openings. It's almost always booked up with people living in apartments. So finding an available apartment can be difficult. And if you do, it's going to be a lot of money. Another con to living here is, especially in the month of October, it can be really difficult to just feel like you can relax because it's crazy all the time. Trying to drive around and just get to your house after working all day is a struggle. There's going to be a lot of traffic getting into Salem, especially if you're coming from a direction that there's just a lot of people coming in, especially on the weekends, it's going to be a lot of traffic. I mean, luckily you only have to deal with it for the peak season, which is like September and October, but it can be a real pain if you're right downtown trying to just get home. There's also going to be a lot of pedestrians, a lot of people walking by your house. It's never going to be quiet during the whole month of October. You can say goodbye to like quiet time. That doesn't happen during October. Again, I personally don't mind it that much because I live in Salem. Like I live for October. I love Halloween in Salem. I think it's so fun. Um, but some people might find that a little annoying and just have to be straight up and honest with you. It's going to be really loud. There's going to be a lot of people. People will be walking by your apartment, taking pictures of your apartment. There's literally going to be so many people everywhere. So. Get prepared for that. I mean, I'm sure if you are moving to Salem, you moved here because you love the Halloween season and want to take advantage of everything the city has to offer. But unfortunately, that is our busiest time of year. That means you are going to be competing with everybody else who is visiting, who also wants to do these same things that you wanna do. That means going out and getting reservations for restaurants, getting to try out all of these really awesome themed drinks that are available if you want to go into bars. Bars where there's usually never covers have a cover now and you have to pay a cover to get into those bars. It's just really difficult because at that point, even though you live here, you're still fighting over being able to do things just like everybody else. So it can get a little stressful if you wanna just go out and eat at your favorite restaurant, you're probably not gonna be able to go in. You might literally have to leave Salem to go eat somewhere else because it's going to be so busy. And with tourist generally just comes an influx of really disrespectful tourists who don't care about the place that they are going to. So you'll see during the month of October, the Witch City Mall just gets absolutely trashed. I mean, in general, the Witch City Mall is pretty disgusting. They don't maintain it very well at all during the off season, but especially during Halloween season, it's really disgusting. People are gross. They'll throw their trash and literally pile it up so it's like coming out of the trash and they don't care. They'll throw trash on the floor. We have Ring and when you have a Ring subscription, you also get connected to other people in your area who have Ring and they can report if there was like a theft or something like that. And some guy was showing his Ring video camera of this drunk girl that was leaving the bars and tried to steal the wreath that was on their door. It's just stuff like that. There's gonna be people who are disrespectful. We had somebody steal something, a package of ours, out of our like um, mail room because our mail room isn't locked. Obviously the mailman has to come and put the stuff in so it can't be locked. But since it's not locked and it's facing the street, somebody just walked in and helped themselves to some of our things. So that's really lovely when you have disrespectful people coming, but that's just something you have to deal with during the month of October is tourists who come and really don't care about the place that they're visiting, which is really unfortunate, but I feel like that's the case for anywhere that there's gonna be tourists. Another con can be the parking situation. So unless you live in an apartment that gives you a parking spot, 
you're just going to have to fight for street parking or park in the garage. So for example, at my apartment, we get one reserved parking spot. There are two of us who live here and we each have a car, so that doesn't work too hot. I park in the parking spot and Kevin actually goes to the garage where we split a payment to get a reserved parking spot. There are two different types of spots there though. You can get the one that we did, which is a reserved spot. And I think it was like $1,600 for the year, really expensive to park just to be able to keep your spot. But this was a reserved spot, which means that no matter what, he has a little scanner that gets him in and out and he can go in even if the lot is full. So that brings me to the other one that they have, which is you can buy a pass where you'll not have to pay the rate that everybody else does. It's like a discounted rate so you can be able to go in. But if the lot is full, you're kind of shit out of luck. You have to go out and try to find street parking because the lot's full. You don't have a reserved spot. So we thought it was really important to get a reserved spot. And it's a good thing we did because in October, almost every single day, almost like during the week and the weekend, the lot gets filled. And there's only three lots in Salem to choose from, I believe. There's the one that's by the train station. There's the one in like the Wood Shitty Mall and there's one by Derby Street. Those are like the close ones that are actual like parking garages, not just lots. Um, so yeah, parking could be a nightmare. Even street parking is, street parking has to be the worst, especially if you live right downtown, because even if it says resident only, people are gonna park there <laughs> and it's gonna be a pain because even if they're gonna get towed, if you're circling around trying to find a spot, like you don't know that you're just trying to find a parking spot and all you know is there's no parking spots. So parking could be a really big struggle in Salem. It's not like back in the day when they made Salem, there was cars, there was literal horses or you just walked around everywhere. So they didn't have a need for allocated parking spaces. So parking is a big struggle in Salem, especially as Halloween gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger every single year. I kind of mentioned this when I had said the Witch City Mall is pretty disgusting year round, but Salem in general is really kind of unkept. Like they don't take very good care of the city at all. It's kind of dirty. Like the downtown is really the only nice area. Um, if you go down to the area in Salem, that's called the point. So if you go over the bridge and go to the point, that area in Salem is not nice at all. It's really not a very nice place to be. There's not too much going on. It doesn't feel like the city works to maintain the space very well. It just generally is pretty dirty both in our big season and in the off season. To recap the cons, it is not what it is in October year round. So it's not this big fun Halloween party, but even if you do get to go out during Halloween, it's gonna be super crazy, super busy, trying to compete to do things just like everybody else. And then in the off season, there's really not much going on here. They don't maintain it super well. I'm wondering where all of our tax dollars go, but they don't do it maintaining the cleanliness of the city. Living in Salem has been a lot different than visiting Salem. It's not exactly what I thought it was going to be. Um, I think living here definitely took that magic out of it for me um, because we used to come up to Salem every single year and in the off season just for fun because it was just a really cool destination to have so close to us when we were living in Connecticut. So it was like a weekend trip for us coming up and visiting Salem. It was just so magical feeling, um, especially during the Halloween season. So it's just different when you live here because it just becomes every day for you. It kind of takes that magic away a little bit. Um, and if you live here, you might know how I feel, but yeah, I still love Salem. I, I enjoy living here, at least for the time that we do. I don't see ourselves like living here forever, but I think it's fun for the time being while we're young living here, but yeah, I would say living here and visiting here are definitely two different experiences. And that magic definitely goes away a little bit if you are in it all the time. So that is it for the pros and cons that I would say is about living in Salem. Let me know if you would ever consider living here or if you do live here, that'd be pretty cool to have people watch my videos who actually live here as well. And let me know if you agree with me if you do live here because I'd be interested to know. But that is it for today's video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.